If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, why do I always hope to be the center of attention but then suddenly turn shy? Social anxiety, another word for shyness, has been traced back to ancestors, which helps to partially answer your dilemma. Sometimes rigid and unyielding perfectionism by parents but particularly by a mother, can contribute to the problem. Children who are seen but not heard, have internalized the message from authoritarian parents that the child is less than the parents and this powerful imperative is carried from childhood to adulthood. There are some fathers and more rarely, mothers who treat male siblings as special, meanwhile denigrating or making no secret they preferred boys because girls are worthless, worthless. Some parents do all for their children and wishing to protect the little darlings, allow no outside of the home social contact. They may limit social activities to those where they drive the kids in the station wagon and perpetuate the notion that the little ones are very much in need of 24-hour protection. The school environment can have a negative effect on a child's self-esteem, while good role model teachers or coaches can ameliorate the effects caused by shyness. Friends and social activities are important to a child's upbringing, including sleepovers, going to movies in the mall with other kids. A speech class at your local community college can do wonders for your confidence and self-esteem, as terrified would-be Banyala Webster's perform their best to peers who are pulling for you with all their hearts. I'll find more answers and a free audiobook on how to talk to anyone in the description below. No useless advice like just get out there I mean actual useful advice from people who have really dealt with shyness and social anxiety and overcome it in their own lives.